What's up everyone, in this video we are talking about the difference between copywriting and article writing. If you are someone who is wondering what that difference might be, then maybe you should stick around and watch this video to the end. For those who don't know me, I'm Lex DeVille, and on this channel, we help people escape corporate prison and build a freelance empire. We share lots of freelance writing, tips, and tutorials, so if you're new, consider subscribing. In today's video, I'm just answering a quick question. I just got back from being out of town with family, hanging out, and all that fun stuff. Uh, so I had to pop in, give you guys a video for the week, and thought I'd just answer this question that came through the Facebook group over the weekend. That's my customer's Facebook group, by the way. Don't go asking me for access to that group like some of you are going to be begging me, breaking down my doors and stuff. Just go buy the courses and then you get access. It's like $10 for access to a group where I'm in there and everybody's in there and we're all asking questions and, you know, all that stuff. Anyway, back to the question. Freelance article writing versus copywriting. What is the difference and... It starts with the fact that it's pretty simple, actually. Article writing is articles. I mean, that's the main focus of an article writer. You write articles. Now, what is an article? That's going to be something like a blog post that you might post on your website. It could be a blog post that gets posted on somebody else's website, like their WordPress website. And if you write it under your own name, that would be a guest post. If you write an article and they post it on their website and it's under their name, then it's just you ghostwriting. So you can do those things. You can also do magazine articles. So sometimes people get magazine article gigs. Now, those are quite a bit rarer. Don't see those as often. But I think that's just because most people don't really think about them. Freelancers on Upwork and other places like that aren't really thinking about writing magazine articles as being part of article writing. And plus, that's usually offline stuff. Copywriting is a little bit different. So copywriting, where copywriting starts to separate from article writing is that copywriting is more sales focused and it has more of an, an influential element. So copywriting is writing with the intent to influence people in towards certain outcomes. And that's not so much something you're doing with article writing. Sometimes it is. Sometimes there's some overlap between copywriting and article writing because you might be writing a persuasive article that is designed to get people to do something. And in which case, you would be dabbling in copywriting. And for some copywriters, they would go over and write that article. So copywriters sometimes write articles. Article writers don't usually write copy. It doesn't usually go both ways. With articles, you're usually writing to inform or entertain, sometimes to persuade. With copywriting, you're usually writing to influence people toward a specific outcome. And that doesn't mean you're necessarily trying to persuade people to do a certain thing. Like You're not always trying to get people to buy, but that is the most common type of copywriting that people know about. So. Most people think of copywriting as written sales. I guess you could call it that, but that's not always the goal. Um, but the main difference is that there is that persuasive element. There is more of an influential element to copywriting. So with article writing, you can just be, you can be a good writer and you can know about a subject. Let's say that subject is walnuts and you know a lot about walnuts. You can just go write about walnuts and get paid for your articles. With copywriting, you might write about, you might write the website copy for walnuts.com. You might write the homepage, the about page, the contact page, the sales page, and all of these pages would be trying to get the customer or the, the prospect to take some specific action. Now, maybe that action is clicking a button to buy some walnuts or to sign up to an email opt-in or to click a link to go to some other product or some other website or to read some article on the website. All of these are specific outcomes that we want. Maybe the outcome is that we want somebody who lands on walnuts.com to feel like they identify with the idea of being a, a, a nut. I don't know. Like you're, you're a nut. That's, that's the definition we give you. That's the ego identification we give you. And nut is the name of our tribe. It's kind of like being a, I don't know, like a Mooney. I don't know if you've heard of the cult of the Moonies, but uh, Moonies is the, an ego identification mark where a bunch of people joined a cult and they became Moonies. And that's what I'm, what sometimes copywriting is for is to get people to identify with this idea of a certain thing. So that's brand copywriting. But 
My point is that we're trying to influence them toward a specific outcome. With article writing, it's mostly just writing. We're writing to teach people something or to tell them about something or to make them laugh about something, which is still kind of influencing toward a specific outcome, but sometimes it's just written to be put out there. A lot of articles are out there as content marketing, which is just to help the website rank higher for SEO purposes on Google. So it has nothing to do with getting people to come in, read the article, click a link or read the article and buy something on that page. It has more to do with putting out lots of content so that the website starts to get found in Google and ranks higher in search results. With copywriting, it's a bit more technical. There's a lot more, there's many more elements in copywriting than there are article writing. So most people who can write clean English can jump in with article writing pretty quickly and get started and start making money. And article writers who are good at what they do, who write for, let's say, established media outlets can actually, you can actually earn as much as higher paid copywriters. The better you get, the more skilled you get with article writing, you can earn higher and higher amounts. You can earn six figures with article writing and you can be up there at the same kind of levels as a copywriter. With copywriting work, it's more technical. You've got tougher clients because they have higher expectations because most clients who ask for copywriting are, are asking you to write stuff that's going to make them sales. Article writing is not usually doing that. Articles, article writing gigs are not going to be asking you to make them sales. Um, with copywriting... Clients usually want sales, they want conversions, and they want you to write sales copy that's going to get people to buy. Lots of quote fingers with copywriting. And as a copywriter, you're going to need more technical skills. You're gonna need skills in human behavior, psychology, influence and persuasion. You're going to need to know how to sell sell, and also how to write. So writing is not the only core that you really need. With articles, writing is usually enough. But within, with uh, copywriting, you need all that other stuff. You need to be a good salesman. You need to understand how people think and act and behave and what motivates them to do those things and what kind of outcomes we want in the first place. And then the different psychological tactics and techniques and also the writing tactics and techniques that can be used and applied to get people to keep reading, read through your copy, and then ultimately take the action or be influenced in the direction that you want them to go. That's the main difference between article writing and copywriting is that copywriting is generally more technical, a little bit more complex, takes more time to learn, takes more time to grow with and get good at and to study and eventually maybe even master. That's going to take a lot more time than article writing, which you can just start doing right now, getting experience with it. And the more articles you write, kind of the more copywriting experience you're going to get over time because articles tend to slip over into copywriting a little bit. There's usually some overlap. I won't say usually, but there's some overlap with different articles. So as you write articles, if you write enough articles, you'll eventually dip into copywriting, even though you've only been writing articles. But if you're just a copywriter and you never write articles, then you probably won't get article writing experience. So it, you don't have to go both ways. The main thing to remember is that article writing is much, much easier to get started with and copywriting is more complex. It's going to take more time to learn and grow with. It's going to be more challenging to get experience with because clients want to hire copywriters who have already proven themselves who can get them results. And that's, that's probably the biggest challenge with getting into copywriting is getting those results. So. If you start out as an article writer, you can get people results with your articles, and then that might be enough to build up to become a copywriter later on. That's one point that might be worth mentioning. Anyway, if you have any questions on this, drop them in a comment down below. I'm just coming back from this little several day uh, trip, so I'm kind of out of it still trying to gather my thoughts back. But we got a lot of cool stuff coming up this week, and I will share more about that. We'll probably do another video tomorrow just so we can talk about some of that stuff. Anyway, I'm out of here for now. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.